Welcome to my channel, where there are interesting and equally sensational stories. Listen to today's story How much are we motivated by money? Is money the be all end all? When do we draw the line? Today on our space, dirty deeds always reveal themselves in time. Nobody is above the law. Wife cheated on me with the boss. So I made her and her boss both jobless. I, male 35, and my wife, Anna, female 35, have been married for the last five years, before which we dated for two years. Everything was just normal between us until a year ago when my wife unexpectedly developed an inexpensive taste. To give a little background, I'm a sales manager, while my wife works in finance. We collectively earned sufficient to lead a decent life, we were pretty content with our lifestyle. However, my wife's choices moved from decent to expensive over the last year. For example, if she wanted a bag, she would like it from an expensive and renowned brand whose logo should display broadly rather than a bag that offers value for its price. I'm not a piker, but $300 for a bag, or you can get a decent one for a $100. My wife's behavior changed because one of her close friends married a wealthy businessman who apparently showered money on her. That friend nonstop bragged about her newfound luxurious belongings. This pushed my wife, Anna, to cultivate a similar taste. She started comparing everything to that of her friends, our house, car, and holiday destinations. I did try to reason with her, but she behaved like a fifth grader who wants everything as her wealthy friend. I thought this to be a temporary phase in which she would eventually come out, but perhaps I was wrong. In the last five to six months, I noticed the significant update in my wife's wardrobe. Before that, it was just a handful of clothes, bags, and perfume bottles, which were understandable. One can easily save and stock up on a few expensive things. In the last five to six months, she upgraded her wardrobe completely. Everything from her clothes to sandals had a renowned brand name. I was curious and asked her if she got a promotion to which she said, yes. I asked her how much, but she shrugged, saying she was getting good incentives and no change on her base pay. I wonder if one can afford so much with the incentive amount. I didn't delve deep into this because would send me on a guilt trip that I couldn't provide a luxurious lifestyle to her, yet questioning her when she was doing it on her own. She had done this in the past, so I refrained from digging. I was curious all this while, but I kept everything to myself. However, secrets find their own way to get discovered. A month ago, I was searching for some documents in my wardrobe. Despite the hunt for hours, I didn't find it. So I started scavenging it in my wife's section. Didn't find the documents I searched for, but found my wife's bank statement. I just casually glanced through it. After her last promotion, which was about a year ago, she said her salary was roughly $6,500 a monthly after taxes. However, the statement reflected a very different picture. There were multiple credits from her company's name in a month and none was close to even 6,000. They range between 1004, 1,000. But not a whole number. I added it up for a month and saw if they came to 6K, but it didn't. I also tried to evaluate if she got a weekly or bi-weekly payout. But the numbers did not match. The total money credited for a month added to be around $10,000. Curiosity got off me. And I further scavenged through her wardrobe. I didn't find anything else. She wasn't at home. I just sat there and stared at the bank statement. That I realized that the statement was from X Bank, hiding the bank name for confidentiality. While as far as I knew, she had an account at Y Bank. I felt intuitive that X Bank was not her salary account. On the same day during the dinner, I casually asked her, Hey, did you change your salary account from Y Bank to a different one? She said, no. I added, do you have an account in X Bank? Her body got alerted and reflex. She turned pale and said, no. I mean, no. I don't have an account with X Bank. Why are you asking this? Or applied that X Bank had rolled some great offers for their woman customer on Women's Day. I kept staring at her. She got uncomfortable. I gave her the time to confront me, but she said nothing after that. She completed her dinner and went straight to bed.
A part of me wanted to confront her right there, but I held back giving her time to reflect. I waited for a week. For a couple of days, she looked tense and alert. However, as a week passed, she became her usual self, which got me agitated. I mean, she was comfortable in keeping me in the dark. Whatever the reason, I couldn't withhold myself. I handed over the bank statement to her the following weekend and asked for an explanation. She panicked. She asked me, how did I find it? I told her the truth. She swiftly turned the discussion around me and blamed me for intruding into her private space. I clarified that I would not get swayed by her mind games and pressed her for an explanation. She denied answering. We argued for the entire Saturday. It was almost evening when I threatened her that I would send the details to her company if she didn't give me a reason for hiding the truth about this new bank account and mysterious credits. I threw this arrow in the dark and it hit. She agreed to confess, but she took a promise from me not to involve her company in this matter. I nodded. She described how she found a loophole in the financial process of her company, where if an employee is smart, they could easily embezzle funds from the company. She was initially reluctant to misuse it, but her growing desire to own expensive self compelled her to do so. I was shocked. Never in my wildest dream. I thought my wife was a fraudster. I asked her how she must have the courage to pull off such a fraud. She said that she tested it once with a small amount with a plan that if caught, she would just sob her way out, saying that it was just negligence. Companies usually don't book you for fraud if the amount is low. They could just fire them, so she took the bet. She later changed her bank account as a safety measure when the amount rose beyond thousands. I could not wrap my head around the information. I didn't yell at her. Just kept staring at her, surprisingly. I'm not a saint, yet this didn't feel right. Probably because she kept me in the dark in a way, she cheated on me too. I asked her why she hid all this from me. She said that I wouldn't have approved. I didn't say anything. I wasn't angry either. Honestly, I didn't know how to react at that moment. I told her to stop all this mess and leave the company before she was caught, and her career got tarnished. She nodded. I was restless for the next few days, and so was she, but we didn't speak to each other. After a week, I asked her if she had considered leaving the organization. She said she was settled in that company and didn't want to leave. She added that she was confident that she wouldn't be caught. With a stern look, I warned her not to repeat the fraud. It's been two weeks since that day, and I'm still restless. I think I'll get over it if Anna leaves the company. In that way, I would be sure that she's out of this mess. But I don't know why she doesn't want to leave the company. Do you guys think that she'll still embezzle of funds under my nose? Please suggest a middle way to handle the situation. We have a couple of comments. First, dude, your wife is such a gangster. She sounds like Stockholm. Money high span, anyone? Comment too. Well, if you're looking for a middle ground, send an anonymous email to HR or the CEO. I don't know whoever's email it to you. Drop a subtle hint about the ongoing money laundering in their organization. Leave the rest to them to dig. Hope this helps. It sounds like she doesn't want to leave because she's making a ton of money, and she isn't getting caught, so she's not seeing the consequence right now. All she's seeing is dollar signs. Because of that, it's quite likely she's still living quite dangerously and really roping you into her actions. So your emotions behind this is valid. It's super irresponsible of your wife to behave this way. These friends of hers seem to really be teaching her some bad habits that's spilling into very important parts of her life. Now for the first update. Hey, everyone. Thanks for all the advice. I considered sending an anonymous email after chatting with some of you. However, I couldn't. I didn't want to jeopardize my marriage for this. I know I was just being mean choosing my married life over my morals. Don't be mad at me because I'll tell you what. I lot unfolded after that. That I sent those emails, I might not have known the darker side of the disaster. Two months passed out of the confrontation, and she continued to work in the same company. However, I didn't find any new expensive items added to our wardrobe. 
I felt relieved that she was no longer indulging in that practice. However, this entire incident kept me disturbed. A month ago, while I was mindlessly scrolling social media, a thought stuck in my mind, and I started searching for her colleagues on social media. Anna was added to my account, and her colleagues were added to hers. So it was easy for me to navigate to them. After stalking some of her own colleagues whom I met on a few social gatherings, I found her boss's profile. His profile picture is a mesmerizing beach villa, fascinated me to hunt further. As I scrolled through this page, I found him leading a luxurious life. His timeline was filled with pictures of him partying at a five-star hotel lounge, vacationing at some of the most exotic locations of the country. We all know that one cannot afford such a lifestyle with a $7,000 monthly salary. And that too, with a kid, I scrolled further down to find that his lifestyle got upgraded only a year ago. Before that, the pictures were of regular places. That looked shady. I didn't think twice about this and asked my wife, point blank. Was your boss also involved in the fraud? She was caught off guard and said, um, yeah, kind of. I was startled. How was that even an answer? I asked her to explain. She said that her boss did find that out, yet he let her siphon the money. I didn't buy it. I told her that seeing her boss's profile, his involvement in the fraud was evident because an average finance manager cannot afford that lifestyle. She brushed it off, saying he's from a wealthy family. I gave her the ultimatum of cutting the crap as I did my homework well. I told her that I had scrolled his entire profile and it reflected that he had upgraded his entire lifestyle in a year. She tried to reason it, saying he would have had some inheritance money. I lost my mind at her lame excuse. Anyone in the world who has a brain would understand that she was making up all these. I asked her sternly to speak the truth. The same thing got repeated after hours of argument and blaming me for stalking the colleagues. She finally agreed that her boss was also involved and that they shared the money. I asked her why she didn't reveal this information in her first confrontation. She said that it was irrelevant. I wanted to bang my head against a wall or bang hers. I told her to leave the company ASAP. I asked her if there was anything she was hiding. To which she said, no. I wasn't convinced that to be the end of the discovery. I knew for sure that something was yet to be dug out. And as you were guessing, I too sniffed an affair. It is the most obvious thing to happen in this situation, right? After spending the next few hours in restlessness, I went straight to her and asked her, You're having an affair with your boss, aren't you? She was taken aback. She tried to say something, but I told her with a passionate look. Don't even try to lie. I have all the evidence. God knows from where I got the confidence to pull off that act. I wasn't acting though. I was reacting in autopilot mode going by my instinct. She gave up and started sobbing. My heart sank his tears rolled up on her cheeks. I asked her to narrate every freaking detail. She finally did. It shook me to the core. After her first trial of embezzling the money, Anna thought she was smart and could get away with the fraud. She didn't know that her manager had caught her in the very first instance, but didn't confront her. In fact, he was the one who approved her audits eventually leading her to embezzle more money. After the amount got huge, he confronted her, admired her smartness in finding a loophole, and praised her courage to make money out of it. He offered her a partnership in exchange for keeping her safe. He said he waited a month before joining the bandwagon to see if others could catch her, but no one else could. Perhaps no one had any interference in her audit work except her manager. So it was an easy escape for the duo. The manager asked her to sleep with him once as a partnership deal. She denied it, but he threatened to expose her. She said he had tricked her into sleeping with him. I asked her why she didn't tell me about this. She said it was too late for her to come to me for help. And she would have been exposed as she didn't comply with her boss. I asked her if that was a one time. She kept quiet. I nudged her to speak up. She said the boss was attracted to her after their first time and insisted they continue. She too started enjoying it. I buried my head into my hands in shock. I somehow knew this was coming. 
I asked her one final time if there was anything else she was hiding. She said, no. I stormed into my room and locked it from the inside. I didn't know what to do. I read 100 of as one after infidelity, M. Ida Holes, and other confession subreddits, but nothing came to mind. It was Sunday. I locked myself for the rest of the day. She messaged me pleading for forgiveness and ensuring to work on the relationship. She said that she would quit her job, but I was numb. What's the point of quitting after the damage is already done? I know I couldn't see her in the same way as I used to. I won't love her in the same way. Most importantly, I would never trust her. The next day at the office, I barely did any work. My mind was fogged with thoughts of revenge. When I came back, she was at home. She usually used to arrive an hour after me. She held my hand as I entered the house. She offered to do anything to mend our relationship. I asked her to confess her fraud and expose her boss to her management. She froze. She said that she couldn't do it. She said that she didn't want to rip off her boss's livelihood as he was the breadwinner of his house and recently had a kid. I yelled at her about where her morals were when she slept with him, despite knowing that he was soon to be a father or recently become a father. I said, fine. Can best your crime to your management. She denied it. After a heated argument, she revealed that her boss had filmed her on the first makeout and threatened her to leak the clip as she ever betrays him. That moment, if I had a knife in my hand, I would have definitely shoved that into her chest. Despite asking her multiple times to reveal all the information, she kept hiding one thing after another. I insisted she log into her laptop immediately and on showing me all the proofs. She kept asking me my intentions. I went crazy and forced her to follow what I said. For the first time in seven years, she saw me in that avatar. For the first time in 35 years, I saw myself in that avatar. I behaved no less than a gangster forcing my hostage to follow my orders. She logged into her laptop and showed me the evidence. She had a folder with the records of all those transactions done to the boss's account and hers. The folder also had the video clip of their first makeout, partnership deal it seems, snatched the laptop from her, plugged in my USB, and transferred all the data, including that video. She tried to grab it back, but it held it firmly and threatened her that if she didn't cooperate, that would be our last day of marriage. She gave up and sat there howling and pleading for the rest of the evening. I emptied a bottle of rum and a few beer cans and passed out. It made me sick and disgusted. The next day at work was the same as Monday. I sat through the day contemplating my next move. I was adamant about taking the revenge. I opened up her company's website and looked up the email ID of relevant profiles. Apart from the general contact details, I found the HR and director's email ids, then what? I sat for the next two hours writing a similar story as this one. Attaching all the evidence, I snatched from her the other day. I also informed her about their affair, but didn't attach the video. After rambling on the email, I stared at the send button for hours before closing my eyes and hitting it. His boss's wife was added to my social media account. I added her on that day when I stalked the manager. I sent her a few glimpses of the video detailing my identity and discovery. She instantly read all the messages and called me. I was at the office, so I didn't receive her call. She pleaded with me not to expose her husband to the management as that would take away his job. Seeing that he was the sole earner of the family with an infant, I shouldn't eat his career, but I had already sent the email. I didn't speak to that lady to protect myself from slipping into a guilt trip. When I went home, Anna handed me a copy of her resignation indicating that she had quit her job. She added that she had cut off all ties with everyone at work and blocked her boss from all platforms. She had negotiated with HR that she would compensate for the notice period instead of serving them. I sneered at her and didn't say a word about my actions. It's Friday today. I got a reply from the HR of my wife's company thanking me for the evidence and assuring me that they'll investigate the matter earnestly. I don't know whether I should be happy at my successful revenge because deep down, I fear that it might lead to a severe charge against my wife. And of course, manager's family will definitely be ruined. I haven't spoken to her since that day.
I don't know what the future beholds for me. I can't continue with Anna because I feel uncomfortable around her. I'm considering enrolling in therapy to clear my mind. Although I guess I have taken my revenge. I'm distraught. Let's get a couple more comments. The first one says, it sounds like a treasure hunt. You get new news every time you dig down. I guess you should just divorce her and move on. You're pretty young to be stuck in this crap. Good luck. The next comment says, move out ASAP before your wife is jailed. Just move out before she drags you into the dungeon. That girl is a player. Oh, yikes. This is quite the web she's weaved. Unfortunately, you're going to be dragged into this one way or another. There's truth in the comments. Your best bet is to distance yourself from this woman you thought you knew. She's living life like there's no consequences. She hasn't thought of you, your safety, or your well-being for quite some time. A very selfish thing to do. Whether or not you can trust her, let's put that aside. Would someone who loves you or deserves your love put you into such a dangerous situation, up? Update 2. Hey, all. Thanks for all the support. I didn't intend to update, but some of you were asking it. So here we are. A week later, after the response from HR, my wife got a call from the company asking her to visit the office or some audit inquiry. She refused but was threatened with a legal order if she didn't comply. The manager was suspended until the investigation was going on. So my wife's resignation and my email coincided, and the company thought she had anonymously sent the evidence to them before resigning. Her resignation process also looked dubious as she just disappeared without serving the notice period. She confessed everything in front of them. However, she's a smart ass. She accepted that it was she who had emailed those evidence as her moral obligation. In brief, the company did not book her for fraud to reward her whistleblowing, but was blacklisted, which means her career is doomed. The manager was held guilty for letting her continue in partnering with her despite catching her at the very first instance. You know how HR policies are? During this phase, I got a text from that manager's wife who blamed me and Anna for ruining her house. I rolled my eyes and blocked her. I wasn't ready for another drama. And I tried to fix her broken marriage, but I wasn't ready to accept her. I continued feeling disgusted at her sight. Her voice annoyed me and had desperately wanted to get rid of it was not only one affair, and it was involved in multiple layers of cheating. There were enough checkpoints at which she could have just stopped and confronted me, but she didn't. To top it up, she kept hiding the information even during confrontations. It took me multiple sessions to get all the information. A month ago, I told her that I was divorcing her. She pleaded with me to give her a second chance, but I refused. She said that she would be ruined. She can't get another decent job as her company is blacklisted, which would come up in her background check. She blamed me for tarnishing her career and then abandoning her. I care less about her accusation. Right now, I just want to focus on myself and getting rid of her looks like the only way out. Really sunk her in only when the divorce papers arrived. I asked her to go for uncontested divorce, or I'll have a mudsling at the court and show the videos to prove my case. She signed and left the house. I've held empty, but that was the only way to heal myself. I don't want to be trapped for my whole life. I'm continuing with the therapy. Any suggestion on the healing process would be helpful. Thanks much. Whenever we look out for ourselves, and focus on healing and circumstances like this, it's the right thing to do. She unfairly put you in a very dark place and had no right to do so. I'm sorry this all unfolded as it did up. Therapy is an awesome place to start and process the steps forward. Hopefully, the path ahead reveals itself in time. What would you have done? Would you have let your partner's company know of her behavior? Would you have followed along to benefit from the situation and forgive the infidelity? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today on our space. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. We'd hate for you to miss out. Until next time.